Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options. Hoping you had a great weekend and are ready to get back after it this week. This is the morning market preparation video for June 3rd, 2019. Man, already into June, halfway through this year. Uh, well, not quite halfway through this year, but we're moving towards that halfway point this year. And as you can see, we are looking at a bearish open again this morning. Doggone it, this trade uncertainty continues to plague the market. And it's not just plaguing our market, it is um, spread this disease um, around the world as this uncertainty continues to grow everywhere now china over the weekend released a white paper uh, blaming the u.s for the entire trade war um seemingly deepening the um the divide between the two countries what happens here i have no idea um and i do, certainly don't want to speculate on that but let's take a look at the damage um and in the in these charts the technical damage in these charts and how we might have to um, address that as we move forward here in the market first off let's make very clear note that we are in a downtrend um, diamonds definitely downtrending lower high lower low and what was critical last week is we failed through this 25,000 level that's a big psychological level for the market and now this morning with these deepening concerns we're going to gap even below um, yesterday's low or friday's low so that's going to be a little bit of a challenge here for the market i don't know that sellers are going to pile on here this morning we have rallied off of uh, overnight lows so they're starting to show a little bit of willingness to um uh, to see that we could be reaching a, a short-term oversold condition, but um, we're still looking at a pretty bearish open this morning. Um, as I'm recording this right now, Dow futures are only down 53 points, but um, which is a significant improvement over the 175 point lows overnight. So we could start to begin that little bit of a um, relief rally here in the near future. I don't know when it's going to begin, but we'll want to watch that close. A little bit of relief rally. Now, what that means is if we do get a bounce, we're going to have to watch this 25,000 level as resistance. And then, of course, right up in here, these price resistance levels and downtrend. So don't in any way, shape or form think that this is going to be a very quick recovery because I, until we get some resolution to these massive issues, I don't know how we're going to, going to inspire a whole lot of confidence in the bulls. Could be wrong, but let's watch those resistance levels. Now, if the sellers do pile on, let's just keep in mind we have a significant potential loss that could be created here um, in the chart. The really the only major um, potential stopping point would be right in here down around that 244, 243 area um, in uh, the chart which gets pretty deep in here and then we could even sink uh, lower um, down here to test these levels so let's keep that in mind we, this may not be done the selling may not be over the pressure certainly on this morning let's take a look at the spy spy doing uh, the same thing remember we have a downtrend in effect so when downtrends in effect we make a lower low we should rightfully expect a lower high to be created and just the continuation of that downtrend so don't uh, try to be picking bottoms here yet um, we have some trouble to be worried about now this morning we're gapping down this morning also and the S&P 500 um, this is a uh, an important level of price support in the chart if we do happen to catch rally back we're going to have to watch these levels in here and of course the downtrend to provide that resistance if the sellers pile on if we continue to move lower i think there is some price support showing up right in here down around that 271 area 
that would be a painful sell-off, but certainly um, could provide us a little bit of support there. So let's um, watch that. Remember, by the way, although I didn't show this, we are well below the 200-day moving average now here on the SPY. That will provide some resistance in the chart. So lots of work and lots of technical damage to recover from. Let's take a look at the cues. Cues also downtrend in play. Full on a downtrend, lower high, lower low, holding at a level of support here, just really, really close to a level of support. And by the way, this level of support carries through the chart a long ways back here. So if we um, we are gapping down this morning below this, certainly we have given up this little level right here of support and gapping down below this. But if we are getting a little bit oversold here, um, considering a little bit of a relief rally in the market, watch these resistance levels here as we rally back. And uh, once again, of course, that downtrend that we'll have to consider. Hopefully we can catch right in here and maybe get a little bit of just a temporary relief in some of the selling. I wouldn't expect a great shakes here until some of this uncertainty goes away, but it is something to watch for and something to uh, just, well, just be really nice to see a little relief in the selling. Let's take a look at IWM. Um, IWM has, has been the weakest index, continues to be the weakest index never at one time tried to you know uh, move up and make new highs like the rest of the market did and as you can see we are in a situation here where we are in that official downtrend um, on the chart lower lower low lower highs there's our downtrend and we are resting right here on a level of support that is relatively significant if we can hold there we could be okay here on IWM and actually start to see that little bit of a relief rally come into the market but then let's keep in mind if we drop through there significantly there is a big open hole down here that could be filled so hopefully cooler heads will prevail we can hang on to this level and um, catch a little bit of support um, right in here let's take a look at um, the VIX now one thing that gives me a little bit of hope that we could get a relief rally soon or relatively soon here in the near future is because the VIX really hasn't shown a massive increase in fear and honestly, that's been a little bit bizarre to me. Um, normally when those fear spikes come in, it, they come in very, very sharp, very, very hard. And so far in this sell-off, it's like no one cares. The The VIX has, has remained relatively benign and like, well, ho-hum. So kind of surprising, but that also gives us a little bit of hope. If, if there is not a lot of fear, we could easily catch then that that little bit of relief rally in the market we just need some kind of catalyst to maybe kick it off and get it going but if we see this vix pull back back down in here into this support level that's where we'd want to start watching you know between here and maybe here um if if we get that relief rally um for the selling to resume we'll have to kind of keep an eye on that but right now looking pretty good here overall in the vix and just not showing that fear that one would expect from where we are in the market. Let's take a look at uh, T21-22. T21-22 is the four-week new high, new low ratio. And I got to tell you, this also provides us that little ray of sunshine out there that we have reached this short term, at least. By the way, this is just short term oversold condition and that oversold condition is reaching those extreme levels this morning's gap down will move us down here toward these ex really extreme levels and would suggest that we could catch that relief rally at any time so keep an eye on those charts be really really careful there is tremendous uncertainty in the market and as that uncertainty continues to to press on any news can certainly change anything that we see in the chart in about half a heartbeat so be really really careful if you do trade um, trade small trade safe um, don't get too carried away and i wouldn't count on 
I certainly, certainly wouldn't hold my breath to the idea that even if we do get a relief rally, that this is going to be any kind of a recovery rally until we remove some of that uncertainty here in the market. Let's take a look at our economic calendar today. Our economic calendar has a few things on it that could move us around a little bit, but you know they're they're not those kind of items that really move us a ton. We certainly hope that there are going to be good news. If they come out as bad news, that would certainly um, add some pressure to the market. But PMI manufacturing, uh, construction spending, both have the potential for moving the market around and helping to provide support or confidence that the economy is still doing well. Um, the ISM manufacturing is the most important report today at 10 o'clock and uh, 10 o'clock Eastern and um, we'll want to kind of keep an eye on that number if that comes in bullish bearish or um, as expected that can um, you know help support the market here just a little bit if it comes in um, relatively good. And then remember we have some bond auctions a couple fed speakers here um on the day and that's about it for the calendar today so watch those three morning reports um pmi ism and construction spending this morning we have about 20 companies reporting earnings that this morning but uh, not a one of them um would be what i would consider to be um a notable uh, unless you happen to be owning them. If you own one of these companies, they could be notable, but not particularly notable. So um, not much uh, inspiration there uh, for the market on the earnings calendar this morning. So kind of keep that in mind as we move toward the open. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day, and I want to wish you great profits. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube, the follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. Thank you very much to the, for those of you who take the time to do that. It means the world to me. It really, really does. And it, it truly is. I, I do my, my best job to put out good quality content that helps traders, but it really is up to those um, uh, folks who click those thumbs up buttons and leave the comments for the growth of the channel. And I truly, truly appreciate every single one of you that do that. Taking that time means a lot to me. And it doesn't require a big comment, you know, just something simple. So thank you for those who do that. Also, for anyone, please remember, you can share this video. It's free to everyone to, to share out there um, on your Facebook or your Twitter feeds, uh, whatever you use for your social media. If you find it helpful, others might find it helpful. So please, you know, pay it forward and um, help other traders because the more you help another trader, the better trader you will become. Let's take a look at uh, some charts that, well, could be setting up. There's there's questions, of course, in all of these charts because of the condition of the market. But let's take a look at a few. Some of the pay um, pay system stocks like PayPal um, holding up relatively well here um, in this market. PayPal, um, if if it can hold this consolidation, this little pullback consolidation, and we can get some inspiration here in the market, this certainly has the opportunity to pop through. Now, I've put this little trend line on here, but I want everyone to understand, I don't know where this trend line is going to be. You know, this is going to require some kind of a bullish signal to show me where to finally define uh, that trend in the chart and right now we don't have it so just kind of keep that in mind there is no trend here we're consolidating now overall we certainly have a trend in play but we've also had just just this 
uncertainty in the market creating uh, these conditions where some of these charts just aren't that stellar um, right now because of the length of, of the problem. If you're looking for the possibility of a short, I've mentioned this several times, Boeing continues to look short and they had some bad news here over the weekend that they may have some, some critical parts um, from a manufacturer that may not be up to snuff so we're looking at Boeing gapping lower this morning and this is a pattern we hit run candlesticks right way options a lot uh, this is obviously just a failure pattern at price resistance but if you notice right here it kind of has the appearance of an H and we call this a bearish H pattern and that bearish H pattern if that fails through this uh, support right in here that little bit of price support then um, you can see there's a big open hole down here where Boeing could slip on lower so watch that close Boeing continues to um, look short another uh, place you might look for a long is take a look at like MasterCard MasterCard holding up very very strong not wanting to really dip lower and and staying pretty pretty nice in here um, overall so might want to keep an eye on MasterCard and Visa would be another place where you might want to keep an eye on it if it can hold up in here I noticed that there are some insurance companies like um, AIG AIG getting a little bit of a pullback and um, little bit of rest in here but holding overall in a trend so you might want to look to some of those uh, little places for safety how about Shopify Shopify continuing to look really good here really strong holding up very very well and showing strength so any bullish action in the market could certainly send Shopify right on higher um, you might want to keep an eye on that chart another short um, take a look at Etsy Etsy um, possibly failing here in her downtrend and not looking too stellar here overall you might want to watch this closely and by the way this happens to be that failure below the 50-day moving average that would suggest a lower low is certainly possible here in Etsy so one to keep an eye on um, as we move forward here in the market so there's a few charts for 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 your watch list remember any of these charts that I talk about are nothing more than a, a um, chart to put on your list maybe evaluate that is not a recommendation to buy or sell anything um, particularly in this current market condition it's a little bit difficult to put money to more to, to work when we can expect really um, fast price reversals intraday overnight making it very very difficult for swing uh, traders and position traders um, if you're a day trader this may be just right up your alley that really quick trading but just keep in mind guys it's really difficult to hold on to an edge in this market if you're struggling and I understand there's a lot of folks right now struggling if they're trading remember it's not you do not have to trade every day to be successful as a trader as a matter of fact I, I can show you um, uh, very easily that what's more important is that you stick to your plan and your rules remember trade when you have an edge and if you don't have an edge then protect your business protect your capital and um, um, stay away from that active trading if the market continues to hand you losses remember it's on you as the CEO of your business to know when it's time to back off and protect your money everyone take care have an awesome awesome day I wish you all of the best. We'll talk to you all bright and early tomorrow morning. Take care now.